Thank you for watching Tran Plays Dynasty Warriors 8 Empire. The video recording was done on August 2nd, 2015, and this post commentary recording is done on August 5th, 2015. I'm still getting over by my allergies or my sickness, whichever. War Council Kingdom Policy A War Council is held every half year in order to determine Kingdom Policy. During these, the ruler sets priority levels for categories such as personnel, politics, and battles, which subordinates carry out in accordance with the established priority levels. When we last left off, we uh, had just raised our banner and Blood Moon, and Blood Moon uh, successfully defeated the enemy. War Council Strategy Objectives Completing a strategy objective without any merits. Accruing enough merits will allow you to level up or obtain a new position. It is easy mode, and I do feel that I can play it on a harder difficulty. I just do not notice a way I can change the difficulty without starting over. And I'd rather just finish this game so I could uh, either move on to ambition mode or start a new character. Life as a ruler, page one. A ruler is the position with the most freedom over their kingdom's actions. They can make full use of all the strength of their kingdom in order to achieve the ultimate goal of their kingdom unifying the land. A ruler has complete freedom to decide when to invade other kingdoms and what kind of strategy to use to develop the strength of their kingdom. Life as a Ruler Page 2 If you don't have enough subordinates, then you can use Recruit to increase them. Use commands such as Conscript to augment your forces and Levy to increase your materials and gold in order to make your kingdom stronger. Long-term preparations include using Construct Facility to build weapon forges and academies to increase available weapons and stratagems. If you feel like you face too many enemy kingdoms, try forming an alliance. Here I'm just exploring some of my options, just taking a look around my new kingdom. And at this time I realize I can't assign any prefix, so I just go ahead and back out. I don't assign anybody during this session. I do and I do enter the promo screen a couple times though. I notice here that uh, Blood Moon's child is D ranking, so I, I work on fixing that. To be fair, she is only two years old, I believe. At this point, I'm looking at the success rate, and Leonchi has pretty high success rate. I forget though that if, I send, if Blood Moon goes out, he will get options based off of, I'm assuming, Dun or his virtue. In this case, Intimidate would boost his uh, success rate by like 50% or something. Now I'm trying to get a supply request done because that's one of the three objectives I set for the kingdom. One of the other objectives was get an alliance. This doesn't count. Zhang Bao, he came up and offered the alliance. Now, the, for it to count as a successful mission or objective completed, the player has to do it. I don't mean like you have to send the character out personally, but your empire needs to initiate that uh, request for alliance.
it's at this time I'm trying to remember if I had the objective to build a what facility. I don't I couldn't figure out if there was a way to see what my strategy objectives for that half year was. And that's really disappointing. Fortunately, every time I uh, take a guess on which buildings it was, I uh, get it right. But I, I don't actually remember it when I'm trying to build it. And this screen, and that screen you just saw, the failure, I was I was just trying to leave up to say that you see I failed the alliance. Even though I purposely accepted that alliance to get that objective. I would have accepted it anyways. Alright, so I'll go ahead and replace that item shop I just built, but not before purchasing whatever I can out of it. And then building the things I want. Now, I want to prioritize stratagems above uh, the other kinds of purchases, so I make sure to end on an academy. What I don't yet realize, but I will, I don't realize it yet, but you, I can have two of the same facility in the same region. I'll realize this later when I encounter a region that has two of the same facility, like two marketplaces or something. But anyways, if given a choice between weapons, then I can pick up some weapons, and I can get rewards of weapons from quests, maybe not anymore as a ruler. But or stratagems, that was my choice. Weapons or stratagems, I, I decided I would go with stratagems because I really like the idea of uh, warping around. I'm wondering, I you know, want to see what else is out there. Now, I had briefly discussed with the misses if I should leave, like what things I should leave in for an empire. Because you know, you've seen if if I I get attacked a bunch during this session as a as a new ruler, and I don't know if I should leave in defense missions. As a viewer, I don't know if you want to see. Blood Moon standing at his throne and selecting menu options. So I decided I would kind of uh, just incorporate both right now because he is a new ruler. If someone is watching the gameplay for the first time, they get a good idea of what the game is like. I may do some trimming, obviously, like you know, getting rid of certain loading screens if I uh, am trimming that particular area. By this point, this is my third time viewing the video. I, I viewed the video once to edit it out, edit out things I thought were irrelevant, and then a second time to... No, okay, no, there will be three times by the time you get this. The second time is right now. The second time is I have the video running and I'm talking over it. And the third time will be when I edit my post commentary. So there'll be quite a few times I view this video, or this series of videos. Um, so I probably don't. I probably will not like doing post commentary as much, and I'll try to figure out something else, such as just recording late at night or something. Uh, th there'll have to be much shorter sessions in that case. But what I think I've decided by this point, you've got to keep in mind that the post commentary. This is three days after by this point. I think I've decided that one defense mission per territory in the future. I may not change anything right now because, as I said, I, I want to leave in some content that shows 
Blood Moon's rise to power. And I want to show that, uh, you know, he, he, that the next time you tune in, he's like, where did he get all this stuff? And, you know, you're not lost. It's like missing half half your episodes in whatever TV series you watch. So, and and I, I do feel that it's probably not that entertaining. So I will probably not do much Empires right now. At least not single player Empires. I think it would be different if I uh, had a more expressive and fun personality. I, I, I wish I could be more like that. I think that would be a, a good, a good attribute for a uh, for showmanship, basically, you know, as an entertainer. But unfortunately, that is not one of my strengths. And that's something I, I am trying to work on, uh, both on the computer and out, basically. On the computer being this, yeah, you know, I, I don't really do like instant messaging or or Facebook or anything like that. And out being like instead of. Uh, Sitting by, you know, retreating to my car for the uh, isolation during lunch break, I, I try to talk to people and socialize. I don't normally do that, or I didn't normally do that, because I'm not much of one for small talk. Um, I, I think, I think that uh, while I'm not necessarily what I would consider an ESL speaker, English as a second language learner or second language speaker myself. Uh, I, as someone who is not entirely native, I, uh, you know, that a lot of the stuff is lost on me. I don't mean like just idioms, which are phrases and quotes that people say, such as a, a hole in one, you know, that means something was done well. But I'm, I'm talking about just behavior is not something that it's something that I have to consider and think about. It's not just something that uh, would flow naturally. If you are, if you're not used to thinking about that, say you're a 15 year old teenage American male or something, and you think like, well, you know, everybody knows talking about the weather or talking about their teacher or something. No, not not everybody. Everybody you hang out with, sure. And something that's outside your experience. As a person, I'm, I'm talking about you know, that 15-year-old American male. Uh, you have to remember that those experiences are your own, and that is 100% of everything you've ever seen. So of course you will feel that everybody should know it. But when you take in someone else, uh, someone who didn't get accustomed to those things, they didn't grow up with similar ideas. Their experiences are a completely different landscape. So, kind of been a further tangent than I expected there, but what do you think? Yeah, for example, people will say such as a, you know, how's it going, and, and maybe they're expecting an actual response because you're sitting at a lunch table with them. The, the, the cleverest thing I can think of that doesn't bore them with, an, you know, because they're not looking for a serious answer. Is uh, just say it's good, it's going. That's that's all I'll say. That was uh, Fossil's showcasing um, her weapon right there, basically. And I, th I think I think I should do more of that. After I edited it out the first time, my, this session, this uh, series or session, basically, I, maybe not series. A few times I've said series up to now is I'm talking about the number of episodes I've uploaded off of this August second recording. I don't mean the whole Dynasty Wars eight. Empire slash Extreme Legends series that's playlist or anything like that. Anyways, after I edited out these three or four videos, I, I thought this is probably a lot more interesting to watch instead of seeing Blood Moon. Even if it's the same weapon, you know, if I don't pick the Anchi again, it might be more interesting to watch uh, me play a different character from time to time. 
So in the future, that's what I will do, is I will switch up the characters more often, even if I don't feel it's the optimal decision as a gameplay style. For example, maybe maybe Blood Moon is level 50, and everybody else is level 3. Uh, and, and it would be more fun for you to watch, say, a weak whip user than blood, you know, super powerful Blood Moon who has trained himself from day one. At this time I try to see if I can assign a prefect and such, but then I have trouble deciding who's going to be the martial strategy and what, what those roles actually do. Now I'm hesitant about giving Van and Fossil um, land, because I don't want them to defect on me. Van keeps dropping in relationship every now and then. In a game like Warband, what you would do is you would give your um, the ones you didn't totally trust, or the ones that you expected to lose or were okay with losing, you give them a village. There were, there was, there's a castle, there's a town, and there's a village as uh, estates that you can reward to your army, to your heroes, basically, who fight on your behalf. A castle owned one village. Whoever, whichever faction held c uh, control of that castle, get control of the village next to the castle. Whoever held control of the town, get control of the two to four villages next to the town. So let's say, let's say, let's just use the characters that we have, we know names for, okay? Let's say, let's say that uh, Lian Shi held control of a town in Warband. I'm just giving you this example to explain this game. If Lian Shi held control of the town, then as uh, this is someone who would never leave your faction. So you would know that those villages would also never leave. And th then you give your village to someone you're not sure will leave. So let's say we give a village to Van. If Van left, the town doesn't go with Van because the town is... I mean the village doesn't go with Van because the village is the status of whoever owns the town. It's, it's a smaller thing. And it belongs to the town, and the town belongs to Lian Shi. Even though those two will have nothing, nothing to do with each other in Warband, the person who owns the village won't be paying money to the person who owns the town or anything like that. So, uh, towns were worth more than villages, yes. Towns are probably worth more than castles, too. But, um, that's what you would just do. And playing multiple games, the reason I explain about other games is playing other games can give you ways to think about playing future games if you are willing to apply those lessons. I think at some point I'll probably do a, an episode now and then about applying, applying skills learned from games and just other tips that I think players could benefit from. Okay, well that's been this episode, the 10th episode of Dynasty Warriors 8. This one was Empires. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next episode.